And that's the way they've learned to do just about anything, especially when it comes to this thing. So if I'm targeting a younger generation, I'm wanting to put images and pictures before them. That's just like that bottom symbol, the red symbol beside the woman on the bottom. That's the symbol for contaminated. Poison, basically. Um, I don't know that I'd want to drink anything that had that on the label, you know. But you know, as a kid, that's just, that's just art. That's just doodling. They're just skulls and stuff in there. It's no big deal. I can count one, two, three, four, five. I can count five seductive women. I can see one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four skulls, five if you count the gas mask. Y'all see all the women? I don't know. There are a lot of five-pointed stars there. Oh, there's another, there's another one, a sixth skull. Yeah, there is a teddy bear in there. Why, would, why in all that do you put a teddy bear? Exactly. Oh, there's another one up there on this side. Is there three teddy bears? There's, I can see one scorpion. I see multiple flames. Yeah. Oh, that teddy bear's got fangs, don't he? And a se- Which one? The one over here on the left, he's got fangs. It's almost like one of them hidden picture things, you know? Where's the... Where's the I don't know, but the, the hypodermic needle is what amazed me. Yeah. The, the, you care, just like this right here. The, this drink here. The desire of the people that own that company and make that is connected to that product. Oh, yeah, it's in California, too. This was started by five skateboard boys. And they just decided one day, we're going to monster, you know how skateboarders are, we're going to market our own energy drink, and lo and behold, here they are, and there it is. So, there is... You know, the sad thing is there is a reality. Just like we recognize symbols of products that we use and we buy and we've been frequent with, understand there's a world out here that doesn't accept Christ, doesn't believe in the Lord God, that does worship the devil, and guess what? They market that stuff. Well, sure. It desensitizes you to it. I mean, I'm desensitized. The skull and crossbones... Now, I've seen it so much and on stuff, but just don't even pay no attention to it anymore, hardly. Yeah. You know? Look at, let's not leave here without getting in some scripture. Look at Revelation chapter 13. If you look at verse 16, it says, He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. And that no man may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast... <clears throat> and we just really unleash the beast or the number of his name here is the wisdom let him have understanding calculate the number of the beast for is the number of man his number is 666 see Satan's into branding he's into to marking he's um, you know he's, he's, he's as much into this stuff as anybody else out here and you know I mean How far do you go with it? I don't know. But I just wanted you to be aware that there are things out here. Um, Procter & Gamble always denied that that symbol had anything to do with anything, you know. But you know what? Look at that thing and tell me that that don't identify to somebody who's into some type of black magic, black arts, something like that. That's the only place you see stuff like that especially when you can roll it over and see the number 666 that's been intentionally drawled in it to mean there. Do you know, how many of you got Little Mermaid at home? None of you? How many of you have seen the Little Mermaid? Do you know the original Little Mermaid box was banned? Yeah, I'll tell you. I mean, I ain't going to go into graphic detail. Somebody had intentionally drew a male body part in the background of that box. If you look at the background of what she's sitting around that seashell, it is intentionally right there. Who drew that, drew that in there. And lo and behold, somebody one day was looking at that and said, Oh, but that box has been banned. 
It's no longer on the market. You can probably find it on eBay. I'm sure some people sell it on eBay. But, but go, Google search banned Little Mermaid box, and I'm sure you can find a picture of it, and it will show you what they intentionally drew in that box. Now, who buys that, who buys that box, or basically, who are you buying that box for? Don't tell me they ain't trying to do this stuff. So, you got to be careful out here. You got to be, yes, I'm the, here again, I'm the crazy guy and everything else, and coming up with all this stuff is just crazy and everything else. Yeah, well, whatever. It's there. And um, who ever came up with the idea? Now, you got to wonder, I, I, I sit and look at this and wonder about this. To snort bath salts to get high. How messed up are you? Synthetic marijuana. Poppy seeds? Yeah. Is, is synthetic marijuana still being sold? Okay, I, I knew they was working on getting it out or whatever. I, I mean, you know, what is the gateway to the next thing? What is your gateway to the next level of something a little worse? Why does a kid have to have an energy drink? When I was a kid, if I drank one of these, my mama would have killed me. Oh, I'm t well, yeah, it was bad enough on chocolate, exactly. Hey, how much, cho hey, by the way, is there any of that chocolate cake left? Not a piece, is it? Huh? Yeah, oh, you don't want to go there, do you? Uh-huh, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, see, you don't, you got to be messed up in the head like me and look for this stuff, I guess. I don't know. But the thing is, once the word gets out on something within a particular group of people, you might not be in that group, and they're recognizing it, and you're not. And what they're doing is they're laughing at you all the way down the road because, look here, they're drinking, they don't even know what they're doing. There's 27 grams of total carbs, 27 grams of sugar, a thousand milligrams of that taurotine or whatever it is, 200 milligrams of some ginseng, and 2,500 milligrams of what they call energy blend, which is carotene, glucose, caffeine, can't pronounce that word, can't pronounce that word, something else, and so, there's four ingredients there at the end of it I can't pronounce. There's 2,500 milligrams of all that in there. The energy pack. That must be the beast combination. I don't know. So anyway, but I wanted to do that. I wanted you to see that stuff. I thought it would be pretty wild for you. I think that was all the slides, wasn't it, Carol? was it? Okay. I, I thought we went through all of them. But I'll sit down and put all those together and just to show you. I mean, they're just, you know. We're, we are a symbolism ingrained society. Whether you, because we're not ingrained in this, we don't think nothing about it. Because we're ingrained in the cross, the dove, things like that. But somebody's ingrained in this. And just like we want the cross to be an influence on people when they see the cross, we want to live a witness that becomes an influence to them, that they see that, that now they're influenced by it. Well, what about these people who are living this life that wanted to be influenced when they see this? How many kids have got to the point now where they've went from just drinking an energy drink that when they see monster, they think, hey, these are the guys that just live life any way they want to and go out here and party and carry on and just have women and, and just do sports and stuff and don't have a job and everything else. How many of them now relate this symbol to that? Ain't that the biggest bunch of false beer commercials, false advertising you've ever seen in your life? They put together some of the best looking people out there, just woo, yeah. And man, when you go out and see beer drinkers, they all look like me. Yeah, you know. If that ain't false advertisement, I don't know what is. <laughs>